Hello everyone. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm Takenori Satomura from University of Fukui. I'm excited to have the opportunity to share with you some insight into our work. Today, I would like to introduce my research work and my laboratories. As shown in previous slides, this shows my research field. Today, I would like to talk about three research topics from my research field. First, I would like to talk about isolation and identification of novel extreme files. Extreme files are microorganisms with the ability to survive in extreme environment under high pressure, temperature, salt concentration, and alkali, and so on. Extreme fires <coughs> are classified into many uh, different types. Some fires are the <coughs> organisms that can survive above, above uh, 60 degrees Celsius, uh, especially hypersamophile. Uh, can grow above 100 degrees Celsius. Halophile require high concentration of salt for growth. Barophile uh, require high pressure for growth. Ash Acidophile, alkyl files uh, require acidity and alkalinity for growth because enzyme from <coughs> Extreme fires show much more stable under a variety of conditions as I mentioned above. So these characteristics of enzymes from extreme fires have a high potential used as a specific element for a bioreactor and catalysis of a pharmaceutical synthesis and uh, biosensor and so on. There are many hot springs in Japan, so I collected hot sedimental materials and venting water from this environment. For example, this is uh, the hot spring Oyasukyo Onsen. This hot spring's water is uh, 60 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius and pH value is pH 8. And we succeeded in the cultivation of hypersamophile in this uh, system and the isolate, isolation of novel hypersamophiles. Uh, this is a facultative uh, an uh, uh, aerobic hypersamophilic uh, archaeon pyrobacterium species, a unique organism growing under atmosphere uh, and above 90 degrees Celsius. And this is striked an aerobic hypersamophilic archaeon Sulhohobococcus. Thus, we have been looking for novel extreme fire from an extremely environment and characterized them. Furthermore, we have looked for useful enzyme for industrial application from the newly discovered extreme fires and evaluate whether these enzymes are useful for industrial application. One of the examples for useful enzyme for industrial application is a dilinked dehydrogenase. This type of enzyme catalyzes the oxidation of the various substrate, amino acid, organic acid, and sugars in the presence of artificial electron acceptors. Because these artificial electron mediators are used as artificial dye, we call these enzymes a dilinked dehydrogenase. 
dilating dehydrogenase have the uh, high potential for use as specific element in enzyme electrode such as enzyme sensor and enzyme battery. Electrons from the substrate can be introduced to electrode uh, through artificial dye as a mediator. However, uh, most uh, dye-linked dehydrogenase are membrane enzyme. And these enzymes have to be solubilized from membrane before their purification, characterization, and application. Commonly, the solubilized enzymes are extremely unstable in solution. For that reason, the linked dehydrogenase have been scarcely studied in their structural enzymological analysis and application so far. <coughs> As I mentioned before, enzymes from extreme files are much more stable under variety conditions. If uh, the highly stable dilinked and the hydrogenase are present in the extreme extreme enzyme extreme files, these enzymes will uh, increase our ability to obtain useful information about their structure and function and make them more amenable to practical applications. We found novel type of dilinked dehydrogenase from extreme files and successfully characterize the enzyme properties. This novel enzyme showed extremely uh, high stable against high temperature and across a wide range of pH values. In addition, we could obtain high quality uh, crystals and succeeded in determining the crystal structure of this enzyme. And the last is about the application of enzymes from extreme files. Uh, as I mentioned before, dilinked uh, dehydrogenase have high potential useful use as a specific element for electrochemical device. However, until our study, uh, there has uh, been no application using dilinked dehydrogenase because dilinked dehydrogenase so far found were not enough stable to be used. In contrast, dilinked dehydrogenase from extreme files have greater advantages in terms of high stability. One of the applications of enzymes from extreme files to electrochemical devices in their use in biocapacitors. This shows a schematic diagram of the sensors based on biocapacitor principle. Biocapacitor is composed of three main elements. The first is an enzyme biofuel cell. The second element is charge pump circuit. And the charge pump circuit boosts the voltage supply from enzyme fuel cells. The third element is a capacitor. The capacitor is stored electric power. A charge pump boosts the voltage and the capacitor stores the electrical energy. When the capacitor voltage reached When the capacitor voltage reached, the, uh, reached to the discharged start voltage, it stores boost electric energy discharged uh, from capacitor to electric power. Uh, the biocapacitor repeat charge or discharge cycle to supply sufficient electric power to electrical device. And this shows biocapacitor using uh, FAD-dependent uh, glucose dehydrogenase as anodic catalysis of the enzyme fuel cell as a representative model. 
the effect of glucose concentration on the uh, charge or discharge frequency of the biocapacitor is shown in this figure. Uh, the frequency of charge or discharge cycle increases as the glucose concentration increases. The electromotive uh, force for en of enzyme fuel cell, biofuel cells is increased by increased glucose concentration. The biocapacitor connected enzyme biofuel cell can be used as a biosensor to determine the substrate concentration in a fuel cell. Due to use an enzyme biofuel cell, this sensor system does not need an external power source of operation. Therefore, this sensoring system is an ideal device for real-time monitoring in biological tissue and food. We are developed biocapacitor using extreme fire in by uh, collaboration with the US laboratory. Using extreme uh, using enzymes from extreme fire, we successfully constructed L-lactate uh, biofuel cell and constructed self-powered L-lactate uh, biosensor based on biocapacitor principle as shown in this movie as shown in this movie adding the air lactate uh, made the uh, led blink and confirm uh, that <coughs> the self-powered sensor was working In this way, our laboratory conducts detailed biochemical and molecular bi biological analysis of enzymes extracted from extreme fire. And we want to advance the application of this analyzed enzyme as a component in bioelectrochemical devices such as biofuel cell and biosensor. Currently, we are conducting joint research not only in Japanese, Japan lab, Japanese laboratory but also in United US laboratories to develop applications for various electrochemical devices uh, using uh, extreme fire. Uh, my laboratory belongs to the uh, graduate school of engineering industrial innovation engineering applied chemistry and biotechnology course for the master master's course master's program and uh, advanced interdisciplinary science and technology for doctoral course uh, <coughs> My laboratory has one Bangladesh student for JP's course for master's uh, program. Currently, the student for doctoral program uh, GEP for R&D are not in my laboratory. We, uh, I would be delighted if great host, uh, graduate students in GEP, uh, GEP for R&D program who are interested in our research could join us. That's all my presentation. Thank you very much for kind attention.